Hello friends, welcome to bsptrainings.com. My name is Sumit and this is my next video in Dynamics VRM series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to use fetch XML feature which is available in Dynamics VRM to retrieve the record. So let me explain you the requirement. So I have got one of my contact named as Peter Paul. So I would like to retrieve the record of Peter Paul by using fetch XML into my .NET. So by using fetch XML based on certain criteria, I would like to extract the field, extract the records like the full name, account name, its phone number, and uh, date of birth, credit limit, and whether the marketing material has been sent or not. So I just wanted to verify this by using fetch XML. So fetch XML is an advanced feature which can be used to run a SQL query in dynamic CRM and by using that we can fetch the data. So let's see how to fetch the data into .NET by using dynamic CRM by using fetch XML. So for that I get back to contacts. Here I click on advanced find. So as you can see here, I'm getting the contact status equals to active. So I just create a new query and that is contact view. I just wanted to extract only that record whose name is Peter Paul. So full name, I'll search for full name equals Peter Paul and status equals to active. Status equals to active okay let's search for the result and let's check whether record exists or not so there is one record named as peter paul so that's fine i'll get back to my advanced find and here you can see one option is coming known as download fetch xml so i use this option to download the query which will generate and in an xml which will generate my query in xml format so i click on download fetch xml and stored on my desktop named as fetch xml and the doc and the format is xml format so i'll save it and once i done with that I'm, I'm going to close it so leave it that's all so let's go and check whether that fetch xml stores in my desktop or not and if it has been stored what's the format of it so i switch back to my desktop i open this fetch xml in visual studio uh, and you can see here I'm getting the attributes here attributes and the query so fetch version output format is XML platform mapping is logical distance is distinct is false and these are the attribute names and that's the filter condition based on the based on this filter condition the value will be filtered be, uh, but I would like to add more attributes into it because I would be requiring I have we have got full name uh, we have got telephone one Contact ID is okay. Uh, along with contact ID, I would be requiring its parent account ID if there is any. I would like to have the, I would like to extract the mobile phone number, birth date, whether the credit credit limit and the marketing material has been sent or not. So I'm going to include these attributes as well here. So as you can see here, I have added the attribute so I add the parent cust parent customer ID, birth date, credit limit, and do not send ML. I'll just save it. So and let's make sure whether it's saved perfectly fine or not. So yeah, it's saved perfectly fine. Now what I'm doing is to convert this into so to convert this into proper XML, proper fetch XML statement, we would be requiring a fetch XML tool so you can see I have downloaded a fetch XML formatter tool so we need to download this fetch XML formatter tool and I'll just open it and this fetch XML formatter formatter tool will help us to format this properly so I'm just we need to just copy and paste the fetch XML code here 
so i'll just copy my code i just copy my code paste here and i would like in c sharp format because i'm going to you in uh, i'm going to include it in my c sharp so i select c sharp and click on format and that's the fetch xml code which would be going to add into our c sharp code so i copy this code i copy this code and paste it in a notepad so we'd be going to use this fetch xml code which is generated mainly for c sharp we'll be going to use it so we have done half of the task now let's see how can we include this how can we use this fetch xml format into our dotnet so i'm going to create a new project in visual studio and this would be my console application so i create a new console application new project and i'm going to create a console application okay there are few references which we will be going to add that is sdk so if you have already downloaded dynamic crm sdk that's fine and you can add the reference otherwise we have an option which named as manage nuget packages and by using this we can directly or we can instantly add the references of the packages so i use this option if you want the updated one you can go for this option so i click on manage nuget packages so the first package which i would be requiring is microsoft xrm.sdk and install it i just install this as well the second package which i'd be requiring is microsoft.crm.sdk.proxy so i install this proxy as well close it and in reference you can see i have got microsoft.xrm.sdk and microsoft.xrm.crm.sdk.proxy along with this two more references i would be requiring so i add a reference so those are local references the first one i would be requiring is microsoft.runtime.serialization and system.service.model so okay so i have added these two references as well and now i add the references here microsoft.xrm.sdk so i added four references here using microsoft.xrm.sdk xrm.sdk.client system.servicemodel.description and microsoft.xrm.sdk.query now the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to build a connectivity with, with dynamic crm by using dotnet by using this libraries i would like to build a connectivity i would like to set up a connection with dynamic crm so for that so i copy paste the code here and this will help me to connect to my organization and as you can see here the the statements the commands which i'm using the static i organization service in main function i pass i connect to connect to ms crm this connect to ms crm is a user defined function and it takes three parameters username password and the soap organization service url and these three parameters i have been passed here that's my username organizational username that's the password and that's the organizational service url now to retrieve this organizational service url you can get to settings customization developer resources and within developer resources we have this organization service so i copy this organization service url so i copy this url uh, organization service url and paste it and paste here so that's my organizational service url so this organize service service organization url including the username and password will pass to connect to crm and this by using the credentials it will test the connectivity and if the connectivity is okay it will return back it will return back to this function and based on this connectivity it will check the user's id and if user id is not available it will throw error message it will throw error message else it will display connection established successfully so let me execute this first and test whether connection has been established successfully or not so it will take some time to 
test the connection and once the connection is te tested successfully it will display a message connection test is established successfully so you need to wait for that so you see i got a confirmation message connection established successfully it means my i'm successfully connected to dynamic crm by using my console application so now in extend of this application now i'm going to continue with this and here because our final requirement is to get the result or uh, get the record from the dynamic crm from the contact based on the by using that fetch xml so what i'm doing is i'm just going to remove this eliminate this connectivity message because instead of this i just wanted to display the record so here i write string fetch xml string is is equal to and here i'm going to paste the xml string which we copied just now which we transformed just now so i copy the whole comma whole message copy it and paste it here and so as you can see here we have got the attributes along with all the attributes so this fetch xml we are using we have i stored into a string next command i write entity collection and execute fetch is a function so in this function I'm going to pass this fetch XML string. So we'll be going to create this execute fetch. So that's the entity collection execute fetch function. And this gets one input that is fetch XML string. So this fetch XML string will be going to pass into this function. And this function will return the records. So this function will extract, will by using this fetch XML string, it will pull the data and returned back into this EC. Then I write a if condition, I test an if condition that if this EC dot entities dos count is greater than zero, it means if the record exists, where I want to perform some action, else it will throw some error message or I just wanted to print some display message that record does not exist and so on. So just to save time, I have copy paste the code and as you can see here, I am extracting the full name and stores into output so i create a string output is equal to string dot empty and this output we are going to append the updates we are going to append the output so i extract the full name if it contains birth date if it contains parent customer id or credit limit and do not send mn and it will extract the value and stores and appends into output so this will create a string this will create a complete string and finally i display the output here so this loop will run couple of times based on the number of record exist so that's the complete code and also you can add a try and catch block like i have i have been added here try and catch block so this try and catch block will help me to throw an error if any error exists if any issues occur now let's test this code so i simply execute this i press f5 and as soon as i press f5 it will establish a connectivity with crm by using the credentials and then it will extract the data by using fetch xml query so you see i got the record peter paul birth date is 18 10 1980 company is a dot m credit limit is 12542 and send marketing material name send we can check it here as well so i'll get back to the records i quickly get back to my record here sales contact peter paul and i just get the record so pete name is peter paul a dotum and we are not getting phone number anyway we can add a phone number as well so here i want company credit limit birth date so i scroll down for birth date that's the birth date credit limit is 12542 and the marketing material has been sent successfully So it means the record match and we found the record and if the record does not exist, definitely it will throw error message. So if you want to customize something, if you want to do customization, we can do customization here as well. We can rename the value. We can change the value of the contact name and it will pull the data according 
so based on the name which will be going to provide you so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on dynamic crm you can connect with us for the customized training on dynamic crm keep watching have a nice day goodbye